people, 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 people. Que pasa, suck, pase, what they do. Now, people, the other day, somebody said to me, Every day I get up and you make posts, three, four posts a day, and appear negativity. When you're going to start post some positive stuff, I am going to answer this way, and this is a general answer for all of you persons that are always asking. Whenever you guys start liking and get interested in positivity, whenever I can find positive stuff that is out there, whenever I take on myself from Jamaica, take away myself from the information that I get for the real news that is going on in Jamaica, that is when I will post some positive stuff. It is called the law of supply and demand. Now that I clear that up, fast forward. 13 year old, Joke joke up this morning in a place called Morant's Housing Scheme that is in Crafts Hill, Clarendon. Sources said that the child was joke joke up in his neck by a young uncle who claimed that he was hearing voices in his head. The name of that 13 year old, Omarian. Omar, he attended or used to attend Celtis High School. He is no longer with us. Now people, 13 year old, young uncle, he is hearing voices in his head. Why is it that whenever these people hear all sorts of voices in their head, it never tells them anything positive. It never tells them, go and read the Bible, go and look at work, go and look at skills, go look at education, look something positive. Why is it that it is always the voice of evil, demonic, the devil, in a freedom head that tell them something? Voices in your head, what does that mean? Is this some sort of defense for plain insanity for say that him chip lick, him head no good, I him name no, no. People, I am not understanding exactly what they are speaking about. It makes absolutely no sorts of sense. Whenever I see stuff like this, and I am assuming, speculating, there's always some sort of underlying story. Maybe, and people, maybe is an operative word. Maybe this little 13 year old, and it is a boy obviously, have some sort of secret for this uncle. Maybe this 13 year old, this little man was touchy touching up, or the 13 year old seemed to some sort of crime some sort of violence. So people may just uh, say, unless this uncle has some sort of mental issue, there is something, there has to be some underlying story to all of this. Jamaica can't get to the point where every day we get up with Sissy, a next family member, a tequa, a next family member, father, son, mother, daughter, Sister versus sister. People, this is getting carried away. This is getting way too much. And obviously, we see that somebody need to put their foot down. The relevant authority. If you are not going to get these people mental help that they need. If you are not going to institutionalize these people, then you have to take them off of the street, put them at the big yard, or put them down at the graveyard point blank and period now before i move to the next part of my video please subscribe to my next channel it is called jamaica dancehall source and i'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video also please subscribe to this channel and when you subscribe please press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option now people the next part of the video it is called 
some people they cannot be redeemed some people they are beyond rehabilitation some people them gone so bad that the only course of action is to be a scully erase them off of the face of the earth as brutal as it sounds now i am speaking about a young man that has been creating all sorts of chaos and catastrophe in the neighborhood he may broke in a people shop he may jump over people fence he may rob him own family members now people like me say i don't know if this youth is on any sorts of cocoa he may sniff he may mess with the white lady whatever the case is however something is definitely wrong with this youth him can't keep him hands off of people things so therefore i can only come to the assumption that he has all sorts of teething and all sorts of D-R-U-G-S issue. So people, I am going to let you hear a voice note of somebody that knows him very well. And this is what his recommendations are. And then I am going to let you watch or listen to the edited version of the video. After them catch him, strip off him close and hog time. People, you understand that this is YouTube. So therefore, certain things just don't fly. However, I'll let you know exactly how I feel about everything after the voice note, after the video, or the audio from the video. Take a listen, take a look at this beautiful bean footage. Gentlemen, um, good morning, good morning. Um, you know, sometimes we're on for the ear and next time we're off, because we have a particular things I do. But I just send you guys this video. <laughs> um, I don't know if I find it funny or what to do, but it's a young man, I mean, no, good, 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 good. And I'm me, me sorry they never killed him. It might sound cold for me to say that, but the boy had terrorized the place like wow. I yesterday me had talked about the boy when going on lady house in a man. This boy just broke in one of my buildings. Well, well me rent out a phone shop. Me rent out a, 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 one of the shops them, and the guy do a phone thing in it. Another boy I can go in there with there. After the man go buy nearly a million dollar worth of phone goods, the boy had go in there and rip off everything. There's, there's so much the boy had do. And <laughs> and cause no thing going on, you know. The sea on it is a wash and blow dry here and a fear house in going on, you know. I see him about tana tana do. Whatever, whatever like that still. And like say throw her hands, whatever like that still. But me know say she wanted if it put in throat and she just couldn't say. A beer fever. See what you wanted. The boy father la hunt him. The boy beating grandmother. Broke up her hand and look money for her. Me have wanted the boy pan some kind of joke, but I don't know. Me never see him pan it. Me never, never look that way to me. But society gone, you know. And my thing when we come across them people and we get them out of the system and minister society them. They might just they might just minister society. Police, man. Tanya. Tanya. So she called them, the man. Tanya, me beg you, please, Tanya. Tanya. No, me, me God, you know, them, I'm me, 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 all the people them place they are going after what you to go and see me, give me. Fill me place you coming up. Please, me a beggar. Just give me that one chance. Yo, lie down, don't move. Please, me a beggar. Just lie down, don't, don't move. You know, I'm going to tell you. Alright. You know, the one say, you know, the one tell us. Just give me one chance and pray for me. I promise me I'm going to do better. Just remember, say, me and my visa and my mother. How much time you get to have to? I know me get talk. Talk yeah, and you blow dry me here for free. I met the girl go for me. But Tanya, please, me a beggar. Just please, Tanya. Remember, say you know me from before me even touch one Tanya, please. Before you born, you know Before you. me born, just give me that one chance. Before you go in your mama home, you know you. Yeah, you know me. Please, me a beg your Tanya. No, but I'll let me know about this. Me too, man. No, me not run. Me not run, father. Father, me not run. Me not run. Me not run, father. Now, people. Like me tell you. This youth out of control. This youth more than likely a broken a people shop. 
a Brokenheim family in cousin own place. Have the place under siege because he is under the influence of something. Not the Jerry and Nevia. Something way, way, way stronger than that. More than likely white. More than likely in a some sort of rock farm. So therefore, he might beg now for chance like him thinks uh, a balloon this. The truth and the fact is that people like this, you give them one chance, them now go change. You give them a million chance, them still now go change. And you hear the boy say, him family, they oversees a file for him. Now people, if you live in Jamaica and life rough, and you know say your family are file for you, you I tell me say you can't hold out until then, so you can get a better life, you can get the opportunity that you truly deserve. So we say to the boy, Pennywise and Pound Foolish, he would have rather a broken a people shop, lose him life, lose him freedom, lose him chance to go to America. However, people, that is not neither here nor there. He might not get to that point yet. So therefore, you hear the cousin say, she's sorry, but she gave him too much chance, and every time him get a chance, him violate. Now, people, this youth should consider himself very, very lucky because I have seen instances in places that I go. And whenever anybody they put any sorts of cocoa and them teeth anything, the least that is going to happen to them is that the finger them, the left hand, the right hand, left foot, right foot, them are going to broke up. That is the minimum mandatory sentence when it comes to the Tarzan thing. So people like me say, you hear the man of the voice note, you hear the voice of the cousin in the background. These youth, they are hopeless. The best thing can happen to them is basically take them out of their misery, take the people them from the community out of their misery. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.